pounds. All right, all right, Shalom. Okay, once again, we're out here. All right, you prophesy the downfall of America, right? Prophesy the downfall of Esau, the so-called white man. Okay, all your other nations outside of the children of Israel, you so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans are going into slavery. Okay, that's biblical prophecy. But before this takes place, all right, there's gonna be a uh, chaos. Okay, all hell is gonna break loose. So before we get started, as always, we're gonna give all the praise, honor, and the glory to the God, the power of the Bible that is making all this happen. So without further ado, all praise is honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, our God Kadash. Double honors to our apostles and our elders that rule well at Great Millstone that taught us this truth. And salutations to all you sincere Akim that are out there preaching this word in all truth and sincerity. Okay? So, you know, all hell is about to break loose. Okay, this man Esau knows that he had but a short time. So that's where we're going to start in uh, Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Yeah. This is on Revelation 12 and 12. It says, Therefore rejoice you heavens, and you that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath. Because he knows that he has but a short time. See, Esau understands, all right, you got the elite. They call the Illuminati. The Bible calls him Lucifer, okay? Because they can see in the dark, they understand what we're saying is the truth. And they're trying to find different routes, loopholes, to try to avoid judgment. They think that there's a way to escape, okay? They're planning and plotting things behind the scenes, but they understand there's nothing they can do to upset prophecy. So eventually the time is going to come where they're going to say, you know what? We've tried everything. We try to poison their food. We try to give them a black culture, black cinema. We try to bug them out. We try to give them white Jesus. Okay? We try to give them religion. Okay? We try to set up these holidays for them to celebrate and just keep their mind off of you. I will shy. That's not gonna work. They're understanding that it's not working. So eventually this man is gonna say, you know what? We're just gonna have to kill them. We're just gonna have to physically intervene. And that's what he's setting up for, okay? That's why you got fucking Jane Helm 2019 and Rex 84, the King, uh, King Alfred plan. All these executive orders, because when the time comes, Esau is gonna come down upon our people with great wrath, okay? Chiefly uh, coming down upon Israelites that know the truth. You so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans that know the truth, that believe in Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shai. And then because you're an Israelite by default, you have no covering, man. Okay, you have no protection, man. So like it says in Ezekiel, he's, the sword is being sharpened to make a sore, to make a sure, a, a sure slaughter. Okay, you Israelites that don't believe in the Lord, when Esau comes down with that great wrath, he's just gonna annihilate you, man. Okay? Yahweh Bashim Yahushai promised his elect that Esau ain't gonna do that to us, man. Okay, that's why you gotta believe, man. Okay? That's why you have to put in that work. Alright? That's why you can't get weak in the spirit, man. Okay, when you do, you pray. When you do, you fast. When you do, you communicate, man. Okay? 
Because this is the only thing that can save you, man. This motherfucker he saw, man, got weapons in outer space. He can fucking zoom in on the head of a penny and hit you with the laser, man. Okay? They got uh, weapons that they use to uh, to uh, uh, take people out in assemblies. They got like a red dot. And it's a very microscopic uh, red dot. It hits, it hits them. And it's, it's like cyanide, man. Okay? It causes heart attacks. And, and they don't, you, you would never even know. Until you just drop dead. This guy got things behind the scenes that he's plotting to use against the elect, man. Plotting to use against you regular Jakes, man. Okay? And I don't mean to say it as if Jake's regular, because you're not. According to Deuteronomy chapter 7, the Lord created all Israel to be a special people unto himself. But you Israelites that tap into other, other, uh, other, uh, uh, deities, okay, you want to live, uh, uh, after your own heart, okay, you're being regular, man. The Lord didn't create you to be regular, man. He didn't create you to be a heathen, man. Okay? Now it just so happens, two-thirds of our people are heathen, man. Did you know some else, bro? We're dropping our word toward the holy places, man. Toward you, you Israelites, man. You got brothers throughout the four corners of the world, okay, dropping this word on you Israelites, man. Holy places. Because just last week, bro, we had this little Judah boy pass, pass by in, in, a, in, a, in a vehicle, and he shalomed us, man. He had to have been no older than like 10, 12 years old, man. You know? And then another Jake walked by and was inquiring. This word is being dropped in holy places, man. Because no matter where Jake is, okay, there is a one third, there is a remnant. That's why we have to be out here preaching this word. In season and out of season. Okay? To exhort, to rebuke with all long suffering, all right? Because, hey, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is coming back to save the remnant, man. Coming back to save one third of his people, okay? Not all is lost, okay? That's why a lot, you know, we, 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 we gotta, you know, be humble towards Jake too. Because look, we were in the world bugged out. You got a lot of our people that are trying. They're seeking answers. Okay, what does it say? That the election have obtained it, but the rest were blinded. Okay, there is still one third the elect looking for the truth. You know? So it is a very uh it's 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 necessary for us to be out here. Like Paul said, he He'd rather be he'd, he'd rather be dead and in the spirit world with the Lord, but it was more needful him for him to be here in the physical, so that he could teach and guide our people, man. You know, we can't give up. We got to keep going. You know, we got to fight the good fight and lay on lay hands on each other's life. You know. Because there's much, much work to be done. I had a dream last week, you know, before camp, I believe it was before camp, about martial law, man. And it was out of nowhere. You know, it was out of nowhere. Me and, uh, me and somebody were driving, and everything was cool. And as soon as we went down on the freeway, the whole world changed. The scripture says that Yahweh Shai is coming as a thief in the night. The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. It's gonna, it's gonna happen out of nowhere, okay? 
it's going to be as if, you know, things are fine. And then out of nowhere, what? The economy drops. Out of nowhere, there might be a terrorist attack. You know? Uh, uh, EMP gets launched. Uh, you know, detonates and, and shuts down the power grid. We're telling you that chaos is going to come, man. It's in the scriptures. Yeah. 7.1, that's big, man. Look at what happened in like Mexico a couple years back. There was like an 8 or a 9.0. You could just see like skyscrapers wailing like the, you know, the wacky wavy inflatable arm tube men guy. You know? Yeah. Buildings that are supposedly solid. The Lord turned into water, bro. That's why you're not supposed to build it. It's so damn hot. He saw the car. Yeah. It says, Son of man, set thy face toward the south and drop thy word toward the south and prophesy against. Oh, it says, uh, set thy face toward Jerusalem and drop thy word for the holy places and prophesy against the land of Israel. See, we're prophesying, warning you Israelites, that if you don't get right with Yahweh by Shem Yahweh it's going to go on and tell you. But look, violence is going to come upon this place, man. Violence is going to come upon the whole world. Okay? The Lord gave Esau the sword. Not in vain, okay, to punish two-thirds of our people that don't seek after Yahweh by Shem Yahweh You know, a hedge of protection is going to be upon the one-third, but two-thirds of our people, you're, you're, you're going to die. You're going to die the death in a horrible fashion, okay? The Lord ain't playing, man. He didn't write these words just to write them. He didn't give men the spirit to be out here just to waste time, man. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and say to the land of Israel, Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I am against thee, and will draw forth my sword out of the sheath. Who is the Lord's sword? Who is the Lord's sword? Yeah. It's this damn devil, man. That's... <laughs> The Lord created Esau to be the master of disaster, bro. That's his sole purpose. Was to, was to steal and to kill, man. Okay? What is he stealing? He's trying to steal your heritage. Keep you far away from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Make you an enemy of the Lord. So that when he, when he comes down, he's justified in putting your ass to death. Okay, he's the perfect devil. All right, that's why we call him the devil. Because he deceives you, and then he's gonna take, take your life. You know? He says, and I will cut off from thee the righteous and the wicked, seeing then that I will cut off from thee the righteous and the wicked, therefore shall my sword go forth out of the sheath against all flesh from the south to the north. That all flesh may know that I, the Lord, have drawn forth my sword out of the sheath. It shall not return anymore. Beside that, that, therefore, thou son of man, with the breaking of thy loins, and with bitterness sigh before their eyes, and it shall be when they say unto thee, And the scripture says to sigh and cry, okay, for all the abominations that are done in the midst thereof. When brothers come out here, Bro, we, we put our soul into this, man. Okay? Because this is this is what we believe. This is the truth. Okay, and God forbid anything takes it from us because if this if this leaves you, there's nothing else you got. Okay? There ain't no other hope other than Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai. Alright, he's our hope, he's our salvation. Okay? If you don't believe, if you if you're just playing around, Lord going the Lord gonna handle you, man. Okay? But brothers that believe, he, he always finds a way to deliver you from everything. You got demons on you, he helps you, man. Okay? You, 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 
you got, you got just anything, man. You, you might need money, go, you're in a jam. The Lord always finds a way to deliver those that believe. The Lord says, just believe. Real quick, I got this. This is uh, Psalm chapter 17, verse 13. Arise, O Yahweh, by Shimei, I was shy. Disappoint him, cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Because Esau is the Lord's sword. It says, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. He said he's drawing his sword from al -Bashi. He's going to give the Assyrian Esau charge over you, Jake's the rebellious. Okay? Save us no after death by pain. Alright? You're going to have to die. But we're out here, week in and week out, preaching unto you so that you don't have to die. So that you can repent and turn to the Lord. Okay? Because... Esau, we, we, we talk about how Esau's blessing was the sword, how he's the master of disaster. But the Lord gonna show true power in his in his people, man. In the one-third. The one-third is gonna receive power. Okay? You, you think about, you know, you watch uh, cartoons, anime like Dragon Ball Z. You remember when Goku was a baby? Goku, Goku had spiritual power. So it ain't no thing for the Lord to give even the baby in that time spiritual power to defend itself from Esau, man. Okay? It's all who the Lord has mercy on. The Lord said, I will have mercy upon whom I, I will have mercy. So it doesn't matter what you've done, where you've been, as long as you, uh, first, first and foremost, were chosen, okay? But you have to be a chosen vessel. You have to believe, okay? The Lord gonna put that on you, man. You know, he's gonna put that spirit on you. You know? Hey, because the Lord said, look. Ooh, I'm gonna get it real quick. Because it's heavy from what I just said. But, um... It's, it's, it's really heavy. Um... This is, um... Uh, Isaiah 49 and 25, but thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Arukakudash, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered, for I will contend with him that contendeth with thee. We have nothing to fear. Okay? You know? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to fight with those that are coming against us. Let's see. Okay? It says, And I will save thy children. You think about a baby, a baby, a baby's a, baby's a, a defenseless. You know? But he says, I will save thy children. He's talking the one-third. You know, which is one-third. The one-third's a big number, man. Millions of Israelites are going to be saved. It's not just the 144. The 144 are just, that's just the cream of the crop. Those are the best dudes ever. Okay? And it's not because they're perfect. It's because Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai created them to be that, 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 that top, the top, the top of the top, okay? Now, in due time, he's going to make us perfect. You know, it says he's going to come with healing in his wings. It says, all thy people shall be righteous. this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of God, you cannot overthrow it, lest happily you be found even to fight against it. How about you know, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, just like, you know, for the sin, that, uh, that scripture, well, uh, the scripture said, you know, I will contend, uh, the Lord is going to contend against them and contend with us. So it's saying, Hey, if you fight against 
against many of your by seven hours to decide, you know, the chosen, the elect, you're going to be found to be fighting against the Yahweh by seven hours to You know, and Esau's going to find that out, bro. Esau's going to find that out because this is the thing. Is you got uh, this devil, you know, that's behind the scenes in the darkness plotting against us, man. All right, right, you know, cooking up legislation, you know, their their mind is really towards uh, uh, getting their hands on us, man. You know, that's why it's called Jacob's Trouble. You know, he's coming after Jacob, man. And especially those that proclaim the truth. That's why uh, when I was reading in Ezekiel, it said that the Lord is going to cut off the righteous and the wicked. What that's talking about is when you read, when you go on and you read and it says judgment shall start at the house of Israel first, all right? And it said it started with the ancient men of the house. That's because even those that call, that know that their Israelites are gonna be destroyed, man. There's gonna be whole uh, uh, camps out there of, of certain groups that are gonna be done away with, man. You know, because it's about the elect. That's why the scripture says, not everybody that calls upon me, all right, is going to be delivered, man. You know? Um, and that's what it means, that the righteous and the wicked will be cut off together. You yeah. know? Yeah, it's like, because Israel was created to be righteous. Right. You know? The Israelites were created to be righteous. So, yeah, the brother's right. Um, oh, yeah. Well, I just wanted to, to uh, say a little bit more that, yeah, man, this devil, he's plotting against us, you know, and he's going to be found to be, you know, the Lord's literally going to fight for us, man. That's why there's nothing to fear, nothing to be worried about, man, because the Lord is actually going to deliver you, man. All right? Hey, man, it's not about, it's not about uh, being perfect in the law, man. It's not about, you know, all I did this, not a little. No, nah, man. It's about your spirit. Alright? Yahweh Shai, he destroyed death, man. It tells you he condemned death. Alright? Because his sacrifice was enough to break the curse of death, bro. That's what you have to understand. Yahweh Shai's sacrifice was powerful enough to break the curse of death. And that's what we're that's what we're coming into, man. The tree of life, bro. That's what we're coming into, where you will never die, where you can't die. That's through Yahweh Shai, man. That's why it's so important to push Yahweh by Yahweh Shai, man. That's why we open up camp with Yahweh by Yahweh Shai. Those are the names that you have to call upon in order to be saved, man. Those are the names you have to believe in, worship, and, you know, and seek after. All right. A righteous man follows seven times, but he gets back up again. Okay? You have to fight. You have to fight for this thing, man. You have to fight for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. That's what the Lord is looking for. Alright? The Lord knows ain't none of us perfect, man. The Lord knows that. That's why I don't 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 fear, man. Just just fight. There's a righteous man falls seven times. Okay, but he gets back up again. You get back up again. And then you pray. And then you, you ask the Lord to forgive you. And you keep it pushing. Hey, because there's that scripture where it says, it says, uh, uh, pretty much continue. Who knows what the Lord will do with you in the end? Paraphrasing. You can look at there's a lot of Israelites in these scriptures that have done wickedness, terrible things, but asked for forgiveness and the Lord forgave them, man, because they were sincere. You know? Hey, look at look at Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai with Solomon. There is books, scholars, archaeologists, you know, that have found books that supposedly Solomon had of witchcraft, man. Of him talking and communicating with demons, man. Him tapping into le to the left hand and the right hand. A brother, I don't know where that brother is, man. You know, 
But this brother, uh, uh, he was the one that uh, I found, you know, that showed me who Great Millstone was on the internet, on YouTube. And this man would talk about how Solomon had books of 360 degrees of knowledge, meaning he understand good and evil. He tapped into wickedness and righteousness. And it says in the scriptures that he set his mind to understand what him was. He tapped into those things. And guess what? Solomon is Yahweh Shai in the pre-generation. Okay? That's why when it went into how the priest made sacrifices for himself first, then for the people, Yahweh Shai died for Israel, but he went up on that cross to conquer, to conquer uh, 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 sin and wickedness because of what he did in the garden, bro. It goes all the way back, okay? As what he did when he was Solomon, okay? This, this knowledge is, is deep, man. Now he was chosen, yeah, I was shy as a prototype. Okay, that's the only begotten son of the Heavenly Father. But it was predestined like Neo. He had to go through it and fix it. You know? And what does Neo mean? You know? God. Yeah, I was is the one, man. Okay? For the tidings, because it cometh. It tells you in uh, uh, Habakkuk, the vision is yet for an appointed time, and at the end it shall speak and not lie. A lot of people are starting to understand because the spirit is going out. As the scripture says, the, the word uh, shall go out through the end, uh, through the four corners of the earth. Then shall the end come. The spirit is being pushed. Okay, whether you believe it or not. So the tidings, the times, are going to become more and more terrible. It's going to get so bad that Michael is going to come. That the Lord is going to have to come. Okay? The Lord is going to come at the end when, when shit is just at its peak. Okay, when wickedness is just overflowing the world. And the Lord will come to vaporize everything. To say enough is enough. Fuck Trump, man. Yeah, I will buy Shimmy I was shy is gonna say enough is enough. Okay? Yeah, I will buy Shimmy I was shy is gonna return and wage war against these enemies of ours, man. His enemies. Okay? But we're constantly telling you, we're sighing and crying for the tidings that are coming, man. We don't wanna see our families getting put to death, man. As much as, uh, you know, we want to slap them around spiritually, you know, even sometimes physically, man. You got a little brother or older brothers. You want them to believe. You want to go upside their head, but you know there's nothing you can do. Okay? So for the tidings, man, we sigh and we cry, man. Because we see our people, and, we're, and you know, there's certain people in this world that you you, you you just like, okay? There, you, you, there might be a woman that you just like, or, you know, you might see a child, a baby smiles at you. Like, sometimes I'll see a baby, and a baby will look at me and smile. And I'll just be like, man, like, the shit that's about to hit the fan, may the Lord have mercy on this child just because of the way it looked at me. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and you know what? The Lord will do that. You know, but man, because of the tidings, we're sighing, man. You know, we're out here sighing and crying, man. We pray to the Lord, we sigh and cry for all the wickedness that Esau is doing and for the violence that he's about to, you know, embark on our people with, man. We know it's the Lord, but hey, what did, what did our, what did our uh, 
forefather Abraham said over, over Lot. Okay? He, he said, Lord, he said, Lord, if there be like ten people in that city, will you have mercy? He told the Lord like all kinds of numbers, and the Lord said, fine. If there's, if there's ten people there, I'll spare it. Because the Lord knew there wasn't ten people there. His, his sons-in-laws, they were all wicked, man. You know? He killed Lot's wife, man. Yeah. None of them were right, man. You know, that's why we, you know, we, we talk about the woman, man. Because they... saying the majority of you women out there, okay, you, you, you just, you just, you know, yeah. the, the Lord gave you a shit brain, you know? Fucking bird. Yeah. And, and you're not going to really believe, you know, when you, you, you might, you might believe at the last moment that, oh, okay, maybe this man or this person was telling me the truth. You know, but until you actually see how was shy or your man was spiritual power, the Lord is, you know, it's not working up there. <laughs> you know, but hey, you know, the Lord's still gonna have mercy on us. He has mercy, man. You know? Yeah. Uh, back in uh, Ezekiel 21 and 7, it says, For the tidings, because it cometh, because it cometh. It's going to take place. And every heart shall melt, and all hands shall be feeble, and every spirit shall faint, and all knees shall be weak as water. Behold, it cometh, and shall be brought to pass, saith the Lord, Yahweh, Again the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord, and say a sword, a sword is being sharpened, and is furbished. It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mercy? It's not the time. It never was. But it's not the time to be playing, man. You know? Pray. You know? Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai said a pray. Pray that you're worthy to escape the things that are coming upon the earth and to stand before the Son of Man. Yahweh Shai is telling you to pray to beg that you're, that you're worthy to meet Him at His coming, man. You know, and right now as we're prophesying, we're spilling our, our hearts out here, we're actually praying, you know. We're actually praying in the Spirit, begging the Lord to have mercy on us, man. Because that's why we're out here in the first place, man. Because we believe. You know? No matter what we go through, man, we ain't perfect. You know? Our minds, you know, as the scripture says, our hearts, our mind, we're, we're desperately uh, evil, man. Wicked. Always. Oh, actually... Go ahead. I want, let, me, let me get a scripture because it talks about a malignant group. We were created with evil in us, bro. Yeah. Yep. If you say you're not a sinner, if you say you keep the law, man, you a fucking liar, bro. You're a demon. And, you, and it says you make the Lord a liar, man. Because yeah. the Lord says, hey, when you read about Yahweh Shai, what did he say? He said, I don't need to hear about man. I know what is in man. When he goes on to talk about it, he talks about murder, adultery, all kind of fucking wickedness, man. That's what's in man. Yep. Our mind, our mind is given to evil, man. That's why we gotta pray and be in the scriptures. We to battle those thoughts. Battle those demons. Because when brothers read the scriptures, it, like, them demons, they leave. 
them demons leave, okay, your mind is filled. It's clean, you know? So when you get a thought, you're like, well, I just read that. And that demon can't even come in, man. But when you're not giving your mind to the Lord, that's when you're, 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 your walls are down, man. You know? You're watching TV, or you're, you're doing things, you know, that pertain unto just outside of the Lord. Okay? Them demons ain't, they, they're, 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 they, they mess with you a lot, a lot easier, man. This second Ezra 3 and 21, listen to this really good. For the first Adam bearing a wicked heart transgressed and was overcome, and so be all they that are born of him. Thus infirmity, infirmity means sickness, man, to be sick. Thus infirmity was made permanent. And the law also in the heart of the people with the malignity of the root. So that the good departed away and the evil abode still. Yeah, still. <laughs> this day, so Jake's sick, man. He did his home, he did not have, so if you keep the law perfectly, you don't need Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah. And if you don't need Yahweh Shai, then. Then what's gonna happen when, when shit hits the fan? Oh, you're already saying, like these new covenant niggas, man. <laughs> You're just gonna get burnt to a crisp. Yep. You're under the new covenant already. You can't die. You Fuck can't man. sin. <laughs> so so when the nukes drop, when the nukes detonate, you just you're just gonna you, what? Then you're just gonna be floating in it like piccolo, nothing gonna Yeah. <laughs> you're just going you're gonna just transmute into the chariot? <laughs> Fuck no. Your ass gonna transmute in the fire. <laughs> Ignite. You know? Yeah, I wish I said the whole head has become sick. The scriptures say yeah, I wish I is gonna return with healing in his weakness. To save those that know that we can. You know, we we we, we, we need a physician. We need yeah, I wish I. The whole point of this is to repent, is to acknowledge that you are a sinner, man. It's to acknowledge that you ain't perfect, man. You out here trying to keep the law perfect, man. What the Lord say? The Lord said, you know, unless your righteousness exceed the righteousness of the Pharisees. Well, what were the Pharisees all about, man? They were all about the law. I, I see. Right? But then, what did Yahweh Shai say? He said, they, the Pharisees put all these burdens upon the people, but won't lift one pinky to bear them. Meaning that they don't even keep all these damn laws that they uh, push on Jake, man. Not damn laws, but... You know what I mean. See? Slip of the tongue, you see? That, 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 Wait, perfect. that wickedness is just built in there, man. <laughs> it just comes out, man, out of nowhere. You're just like, oh shit, man, my bad. Uh, Ecclesiasticus 19 and 16. There is one that slippeth in his speech, but not from his heart. And who is he that hath not offended with his tongue? Right, and what does that mean to not slip from the heart? Okay, that means that you're in the spirit, man. You're still in the spirit. Oh, you'll, you'll be like, oh, dang, you know, my bad, or, you know, maybe you don't know or have a demon on you have to be brought out to the light. You have to you have to be, you know, exposed to, to the understanding that you were doing something wrong, and then you don't slip with the heart. You don't just continue on and evil. You, you, you go, oh, dang, man, you know, you do something about it, man. That's what it means. That's that's what you're being judged upon, man. You're not being judged upon, oh, you did this, and so now you're condemned. That's how the law was, bro. The yeah. law was, oh, you did this, you better do a sacrifice. You know, oh, you did this, that, that's your ass, man. You know, you gotta go to the, you're gonna get beat now, put in the stocks and shit. But that's, that's the old letter, that's the old letter, man. 
Now you're being judged upon your 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 spirit, man. All right. Are you gonna continue on, or are you gonna repent? Are you gonna acknowledge that you have, that you offended and, and work on it? These are the things that you have to be doing, man. That's all. That's the work. That's that's the a big part of the work, man. It's not just doing videos and coming out on the highways and hedges, even though that's the biggest part of it because you're out here telling other, you know, Israelites what you what they're supposed to be doing as well, you know. But you also you got to make sure that you're working on yourself so that you can be found worthy, you know. Because but hey, the the, the, the uh, uh, Paul said, you know, uh, I keep under my body list. I, I have preached to others, and I myself become a castaway, man. You know that's why it says possess ye your souls. That means yeah, okay, you're gonna sin, you're gonna go off. This you know you're not perfect. But you're gonna, you're not gonna just be wild, go wild out here and just be a whole ass demon. You know what I mean? Doing all kind of crazy shit, man. You're gonna, have, you're gonna watch yourself, man, to the best of your ability. You know, watch. It says watching all things, man. Is this Hebrews? Oh, you know, no. Hebrews nine and seventeen. For a testament is a force after men are dead. Otherwise, it is of no strength at all while the testator liveth. Whereupon neither the first testament was dedicated without blood. For when Moses had spoken every precept to all the people according to the law, he took the blood of calves and of goats with water and scarlet wool and hyssop and sprinkled both the book and all the people saying this is the blood of the testament which Yahweh hath enjoined unto you moreover he sprinkled with blood both the tabernacle and all the vessels of the ministry and almost all things are by the law birds with blood and without shedding of blood is no remission so there had to be bloodshed, bro, to forgive sin. Okay? There had to have been a, a violent act for your sins to be forgiven. Like the brother mentioned, the Old Testament, you would just get judged, man. During those times, you could just you just get smoked. You know? No matter what. The Lord would probably give you space, but then he would still smoke you, man, unless you repented. Okay, but now this world has become so wicked, and the Lord knew it. He had pity. Okay, that He gave us Yahweh Shai. That was the story. That Yahweh Shai would be that sacrifice, man. Okay, because without blood, there's no remission of sin. There's no forgiveness. There's no mercy. So Yahweh Shai was the ultimate sacrifice for us. You can't go and sacrifice a goat or a sheep or a dove and be forgiven. Okay? I remember when I first came to the truth, you know, you're, you're a bug out. And I was thinking like, oh man, no, I gotta go buy a dove or something. Yeah. And then you, you, you're bugged out. But then you, 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 yeah, I wish I was revealed to you. Okay, and then you understand, okay, well, you can't keep the law perfect, okay? It's not about sacrificing of animals, okay? It's about sacrificing yourself now, man. Okay, sacrificing yourself, coming into subjection, That's why it talks about presenting your bodies a living sacrifice. Okay, to live after the will of the Lord. That's how you sacrifice, you know? And then Yahweh Shai becomes that sacrifice for you. He covers you. Because what? Because you have believed and known His name. You know? It's not about what we do. Okay, because we, we can't, we can't, we can't do it right, you know, without the Lord, outside of the Lord. 
You can't. Okay, you, you can pretend. That's why you got all these Israelite groups that are bugged the hell out. You know, they're pretending. You know, like uh, going back to those new covenant guys, they're pretending. Now they're giving other names because the truth ain't in them no more. So they gotta pretend and, and make things up as they go. Hey, that's that scripture that says, examine yourself whether you be in the faith. Yeah. It says, know ye not that your high will is in you, lest you be a reprobate. That's why the law said, I trust that you know we are not reprobate. You know, because if you can't examine yourself, then you're a reprobate. If you, you know, then your high is not in you. You don't, you didn't call upon the names anymore. Then the Lord ain't in you. You know, you don't believe anymore. Then the Lord ain't, you know, you can't examine. You, know, you can't examine yourself. You can't. And demons are already on you. They, they, they got you. That's why them dudes are talking all that madness. Talking about how they're under the new covenant already. They can't, they can't sin or they can't die. Simple crap. That's why they can't be rebuked. That's why you, nobody yeah. can tell them anything. They can't examine it. And go. They just they come and they, they just they're gone. You know they'll be out there for three, four hours talking gibberish. And then next you know those three, four hours become two hours. Then it becomes one hour. Then you don't see them no more. Okay? They're just bug, bugging and bugging out more and more. You know? Changing, bringing things up as they go. But yeah, I was shy, he died. Okay, he died for those that believe. Alright, you go back to that. Yeah. Let's start back up here. It's Ezekiel uh, 21 and 8. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord, say a sword is uh, a sword, a sword is sharpened and also fervent. See, that's why Esau is doing these drills. That's why they got, you know, military at the Texas border, Mexican border. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's to keep uh, uh, immigrants from coming in. But when there's martial law, they're going to be killing everybody that's trying to leave. Hey, but that's the craziness of Esau, is that he looks for every situation that he can to put in position uh, more pieces for the time when he comes down, man. All right, just look at uh, what America before, you know, the police, how they dress and everything. Nowadays, you see the cops out here, they have machine guns and shit. They have full uh, tactical gear looking like the military, you know. That stuff uh, wasn't in place before. They used situations in order to militarize the police, man. They used different situations in order to pass surveillance know legislation so that they can watch you at all times you know that they could you know uh, uh you know come after you for saying certain things but it is what's going on now is that the fbi is showing up at people's doors for facebook posts you know it says in the scriptures that he makes a, a man an offender for a word for a word and that word is going to be this one yep. The word is Yahweh Shai. We're out here speaking, prophesying of Him. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. But that's why we're telling you not to fear. Because. Yep. It says, It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbish that it may glitter. Should we then make mercy? It contended the rod of my son as every tree, and he had given it to be furbished that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened, and it is furbished to give into the hand of the slayer. And the slayer is Esau. Okay, Esau is 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 honing his military, man. Honing his military so he can come down upon our people with that great wrath. You know, as it tells you in second interest, uh, uh, um, 
they shall be like madmen, sparing none. You know, wetting the whole place up, man. Painting the city red, so to speak. Killing babies, killing pregnant women, killing grand grandmas, grandpas, sparing none, man. You know, Esau isn't gonna, you know, uh, tell his military, uh, 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 don't, don't, don't harm women, don't harm children. He's gonna have a microchip, the, the mark of the beast, that microchip put in his soldiers so they can't swivel their mind away from his, t from his orders, man. They're gonna be under his full control. And they show you if, you, if you go on YouTube and type in a radio frequency control on mice, they show you that they can enrage animals, creatures, with just radio frequency. So with that chip, they're gonna be able to enrage, put these soldiers, these troops, into a killing frenzy. Just have, to have them out here killing people, man. We're telling you that because it's in the scriptures. Okay? Esau knows that he's got veterans, military men that are not with the shit he's bringing up. That are setting up militias to, to combat against him. But he's gonna have these soldiers that believe in a American system that are gonna fully, you know, uh, succumb to his, his bull crap and say, yeah, chip us up. We're for America, we're for our country. We don't, we don't want to be labeled terrorists. Because that's what they're going to say. Trump said that all uh, uh, immigrants are going to receive a, uh, a tracking system, that he wants them to have that tracking system, which is the chip. It's going to leak to all citizens. You know, Revelation says that uh, this shall come upon all the world to try them. So they're going to want to push that microchip into all people that are on the earth. For what? Total control. It's not just to control your finances or so that you're scannable so they can tell who you are. No, it's so they can have full control over you. Okay? So that you will be his puppet and he will be your God. You know? We're telling you to resist. We're telling you not to take the mark, okay? We're telling you that if you take the mark, the Lord is gonna destroy you, you know? But with that mark, he's gonna have total control, okay? That's why it talks about, uh, uh, they shall be like men, men sparing none, you know? That's why there's uh, uh, books and articles out there about uh, satanic super soldiers, man. They're gonna have these men in like exoskeletons, you know, like Robotech. <laughs> like uh, uh, that movie, uh, Robocop. What the fuck do you think Robocop was about? Or that movie Upgrade. It was about them using a microchip to create soldiers that couldn't resist their will and utilize them as a weapon. That movie, uh, 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 what was it, Small Soldiers? Is that what it's called? Yeah. In that movie, they quoted the scripture about turning plowshares into swords. And it was about making toys into weapons, man. Turning things that were great for good and for joy into weapons. I forget what the company was called. It was called like Weapons Corp. I think it was called Global Tech. Yeah, it was called something. Or Arms Tech or something. Yeah. But they actually quoted the scriptures, man. Going back to how the Illuminati is Lucifer and they understand these scriptures, man. Trying to find little loopholes. But there's nothing they can do. How about Shimei Shai created Esau to be the most proud? To where he believes he's gonna wiggle. He gonna wiggle. 
but there's none that can be delivered out of the Lord's hand. You know? There's nothing you can do, damn devils. You know? He's, in his heart, he believes he's going to escape. In his heart, he believes that there's a way out. No fucking way out, man. You know? If we can't find a way out, how the hell are you dumbass devils going to find a way out? Doing it. 
So we're actually desperately out here hoping that Jake can get, get it together, man. The only way you can get it together is through the Lord. You know? We want to, we want to, you know, we understand there's two thirds that got to go. But we're not the Lord. We're not the Lord. We don't say who's got to go and who's going to repent. We're helping our families. You know, I got a mom. This brother got parents that we love. And we see them bug the fuck out. You know, we got children. We don't want to see them hurt. We don't want to see them die. You might have a brother, sister. You might have a favorite aunt or uncle. Cousins. You might have a friend. Okay? A woman you care about. You know? And we understand that there's going to be casualties. There always is. But we're hoping and praying that the Lord can open people that we care about to eyes by preaching this word. You know? Some brothers are tribal, super tribal. They're like, man, I, I like this. I like this one. I hope he could. I hope he could just turn it around. You know, this is Proverbs one and seven. The fear of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. My son, hear the instruction of thy father. And forsake not the law of thy mother. Which, you know, the instruction of our father is the blueprint that Yahweh Hashem Yahushai laid down for us. The wisdom of our mother, which is, of course, the law, statutes, commandments. But what is the greatest law? Okay? The greatest law is to believe, to fear Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. With all thy strength, man, with all thy mind, thy might. So that means to believe, man. That's what that means. To keep these laws, statutes, commandments to the best of your ability. We don't we don't discredit the law. We don't tell you not to keep the law. So don't try to twist our words. What we say is there's no way you could keep it perfect. But when you fuck up, you ask for forgiveness. You get better, you do better. You don't just, just, you don't just, you don't just be a damn demon, okay? It says, for they shall be an ornament of grace. Where the time of grace? The ornament of grace is repenting, man. To acknowledging, acknowledging your sins. Acknowledging Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shad by repenting for your sins. It'll be an ornament of grace unto thy head. It says, and chains about thy neck. Those those things make Jack look fly. That makes somebody look fly. A king wears a crown, which is an ornament. You got gold chains. Okay, that's that's our uh, our glory, man. Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. And you can't have that glory if you don't believe, if you're not fighting, if you're not doing, being a doer of the word, and not a hearer only, okay? Because look, when the elect, when, when shit goes down, the Lord, it says, it says, then shall it be known who are my chosen. Jake is going to be out here stuntastic, man. Esau's going to come to you, he's just going to murk you. And you might be like, fuck, man, praying to the Lord. He go to shoot you. Like, uh, what was that movie? Uh, uh fuck it. Look at Spawn. Remember Spawn? Where they're trying to wet Spawn up and all the bullets. And then the bullets start to kill him. He's like, hey, he's hey. like well, I forget his exact words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's like, fuck yeah. yeah. And then what does he do? He starts, he starts. in the bay, a, a very beloved brother in our heart, the brother Manatzak Benyamin, 
And he does these illustrations there. Show you things like that. Brothers with spiritual power. You know? That, that, that builds faith, man. That exhorts brothers to continue, man. Because the Lord promised we're going to receive that kind of